Welcome to the Widowed Mom Podcast, episode 254, Your Pain is Not Your Connection. Welcome to the Widowed Mom Podcast, the only podcast that offers a proven process to help you work through your grief, to grow, evolve, and create a future you can truly look forward to. Here's your host, Master Certified Life Coach, Grief Expert, Widow, and Mom, Krista St. Germain. Have you ever worried that if you no longer felt pain about your person's loss, that you'd lose your connection to them? If so, you aren't alone. And in today's episode, we're going to talk about it. Hey there, welcome to another episode of the podcast. Just a reminder, if you want to watch these episodes on YouTube so you can see me while I'm recording or you just prefer YouTube, you can do that. Go over to YouTube and search The Widowed Mom Podcast. It will pop right up. At the time of this recording, I am looking out my window and it feels like spring, but I know enough to know that I have to wait until early April to plant flowers because it's likely to freeze and snow again, but I am so ready to plant flowers. So hopefully by the time this episode comes out, which should be the 8th of April, I will be buying flowers and planting them. I miss that. I miss being outside and tinkering in my flower pots. So, and then also I want to remind you for some reason, I don't know if it's because people get their tax returns or what it is about April, but April always seems to be the month where mom goes on spots, fill up the fastest for some strange reason. So I just want to let you know that if you've been thinking you want to get in on the May cohort of mom goes on, then apply sooner than later, because for some reason, April just seems to be a very popular month and people always seem to want to join and mom goes on. So I just want to let you know that. Okay. Let's talk about the problem, which I have noticed many, many times, which is that very often we conflate the pain that we feel about our person's loss with the connection that we desire. And sometimes we tell ourselves that if we let go of the pain, we'll lose the connection, that the pain keeps us connected to our person. And that is not true. And I want to walk through it briefly with you so that you come away with this understanding. It's okay to keep pain for sure. And also letting go of pain, no longer thinking thoughts that cause pain, doesn't have anything to do with the connection you feel to your person. So here we go. Pain and connection are both emotions, feelings. Emotions, feelings, come from our thoughts. Both pain and connection come from different thoughts. So we can have thoughts that create pain and thoughts that create connection at the same time. We can have thoughts that create pain and thoughts that create disconnection at the same time. We can have thoughts that create joy, love, anything else besides pain, and still have thoughts that create connection. Thoughts that create pain and thoughts that create connection are different. They are not dependent And there is no causal relationship between pain and connection. So let me tell you what I actually mean when I'm talking about pain-causing thoughts and connection-causing thoughts. First of all, all thoughts and feelings are normal in grief. They are not problems to solve. They are just experiences to allow. And thoughts that cause pain are not creating connection. So here's some examples. When you are thinking... I feel alone even in a crowded room. That is a painful thought. That is a thought causing pain. It's not wrong. You're not wrong for thinking that thought. Many of us have had that thought. And also it is a thought causing you to feel something that we might describe as pain. If you are thinking the thought, this shouldn't have happened to us. That is a thought that will cause pain. That's not causing connection. It's causing pain. If you are thinking, I'm not sure how to live a life that you're not part of, 
That is a thought that would cause pain. That thought does not cause connection. Notice it. Think that thought. Let me, let me give you another one. And I want you to think it and see what emotion you feel as you think it. Think this thought. Part of me left with you. Part of me left with you. Sometimes it can help to close your eyes. Notice the strongest emotion you feel. It's not connection. It's probably sadness. It might be despair. It's some flavor of pain. That thought, part of me left with you, did not cause you to feel connected. Here are some thoughts that do create connection. Think this thought and see how you feel. I carry your love with me in everything I do. I find pieces of you in the beauty of the world. In moments of silence, I feel your presence. You inspire me to live fully and love deeply. No matter where I go, you're there with me. Notice how differently you feel when you think those thoughts, those connection creation thoughts, than you felt when you thought the pain creation thoughts. Again, it's not right. It's not wrong. It's just different. And it's important that you see the difference. If you think holding on to your pain means holding on to your connection, you're confused. And we've all been there. But this, this episode is to straighten that out. We have thoughts that cause pain. And we have thoughts that cause connection and they are different thoughts. So just because painful thoughts are there, it doesn't mean we're also not experiencing connecting thoughts. Maybe we are. And just because connecting thoughts are there doesn't mean that painful thoughts aren't there. It's entirely possible to have both, but they are different. They are different. Some thoughts we think cause pain. Some thoughts we think create connection and they are different. So. We want to be aware of that because if we're confusing pain with connection, if we think it's causal, we think we can't let go of our pain because we'll lose our connection. We're going to be drained. We're going to be tethered to the moment of loss rather than thinking about the entirety of the relationship. We're probably going to feel stuck. We're going to struggle to move forward. We're going to struggle to see joy in life. We will be robbed of the ability to feel connected and experience the continuing bonds that are possible for us, for you. We might feel isolated. That might make it harder to form connections at times when we would really benefit from them, right? There are risks associated with not allowing ourselves to let go of pain because we have conflated it with connection. So how do we shift our focus? Well, we can identify moments and memories where joy and love and shared values illuminate our connection, right? We can think the kinds of thoughts that I gave you earlier. No matter where I go, you're there with me. Feels good. Feels connecting, right? Our journey together taught me the true meaning of love might feel great to you. I honor our past and cherish the memories we created together, right? We think about what was it that we loved? Where did we share values? Where were our connections? And we think about those kinds of thoughts. We decide what we want to think so that we're creating the emotional experience of connection. And we see that it's different from what we're thinking that creates the emotional experience of pain. Again, not that pain is wrong. It's not about right or wrong. It's understanding that different thoughts create different feelings. And also, I want to recommend that we consider creating rituals and acts of kindness that celebrate their life, not just mourn their death. A lot of us have rituals. And if, listen, if it works for you, keep it. But if your rituals, if your acts of kindness, if your ways of memorializing them are focused on their death, I think we're missing out on some opportunities to create connection and celebrate their lives. So you might put some focus and attention there. I genuinely, genuinely believe that 
when we open ourselves to new experiences, right? Maybe even to new love, if we want, it doesn't diminish anything about what we shared. It doesn't diminish our connection, right? It just lets us live again. It just lets us experience all that is available to us on this planet. And maybe even a very small place to start might be that you just find one positive connecting memory this week and celebrate it. You cultivate that connection by giving your energy to it. And I really want you to hear that I'm not saying that pain is wrong, right? Pain is a normal, natural part of grief. That, that is what is supposed to be happening in grief. And the experiences that we have of pain and of connection are created by where we put our energy, our thoughts, where we focus our actions, and that it's entirely possible to create connection with our brain by giving our energy to it, by thinking about it, knowing all the while that letting go of pain has nothing to do with the connection that we're capable of creating and feeling. So your pain has nothing to do with your connection. They're separate. You can let go of that pain if you want and still feel connected. All right? That's what I have for you this week. Remember, I love you. You've got this. Take care and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye. If you like what you've been hearing on this podcast and want to create a future you can truly get excited about even after the loss of your spouse, I invite you to join my Mom Goes On coaching program. It's small group coaching just for widowed moms like you, where I'll help you figure out what's holding you back and give you the tools and support you need so you can move forward with confidence. Please don't settle for a new normal that's less than what you deserve. Go to coachingwithkrista.com and click work with me for details and next steps. I can't wait to meet you.